Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Just ago, I uploaded a video on my uh, web plate dark box. If you have not watched this video before, you can click on the link on the top uh, right hand corner. However, that video is uh, short and simple. So I thought in this video, I will go into more details about this dark box. I will cover its dimension, the wood being used and how it was built and also we take a look at the internal of this box. So if you are looking to build a web plate dark box and you are looking to build something like this, a more suitcase design, you can take this video as a reference for your building. Okay, so this is the web plate dark box in the fold up position. Let's take a look at the dimension. So this is 29 inches across and 22 inches high. We are looking at the base and the top. In terms of the height, this is about 5.5 inches. Okay, so in terms of the wood use, you can see here that the top piece, this big rectangular piece and the bottom piece, they are actually made from uh, half inches thick plywood. Whereas the side pieces, they are from the tropical hardwood. So this is the view from the side. So on the top we have a half inch thick plywood and then about two and a three quarter inch tall hardwood and then about a two inch tall hardwood again followed by another half inch of plywood. Why I chose this thickness is because this is what they have pre-cut in the local timber shop. So I just choose the most appropriate one. You can of course adjust it to your own uh, requirement. So all this wood are uh, saw to size for me at the local timber shop. And I have limited woodworking skill. So I just join them out using cell tapping screw. As you can see here. Just Make sure that they are at right angles and join the side pieces together. Even the top, I just use screw to join the pieces together. Other hardware that you need is probably two latch. I don't know what you call this latch, probably string latch. I have just two and of course a handle. This is a brass handle. So this is the design that I implement to support the box when it's open. So I have this piece of wood and it's um, connected to the side panel by a screw. And then when I open this up, this will slot into the other screw at the bottom panel. Right. So when you tighten the screw, you should hold the box the two top and bottom at 90 degrees. I have another one at the other side of the box. So these are the two side support that keep it open. So this is the 15mm stainless steel rope that I got from IKEA. I think this is a dish drying rack that you use in the kitchen. So this is the part that I find it to be suitable. So as a supporting arm for the for the dark cloth. 
this is the part where the rod will go in this is just a flexible uh, pipe cram or something like that but it is used to cram a water pipe or to the wall so I bought a long piece and I just screw it to the uh, side panel and then here you see a block of wood that is to stop the rock from moving up and down so we just need to slide this rock through the cram right and then it will be blocked by this piece of wood so it cannot go up further although it's possible that it's go down so if you like you can build another piece of uh, wood here to stop it okay. so you can see I put some black tape here because it has been rubbing against the piece of wood and scrub off some wood here so I sort of put some tape here so now you see that I have put up both pieces however it is not strong enough to support the dark cloth so we need another piece of wood to join up and reinforce these two uh, rods so what I have here is this construction again it's some plywood and I just build it based on what I need so on one end is the same pipe cram, flexible pipe cram, right. and some pieces of wood to stop the rock from moving in further. So there's another piece here. Okay, so with this three part, I still find that it is not strong enough to support the dark cloth because the dark cloth is quite heavy so what I have here is to put another two vertical uh, rod to support the stainless steel rod and to do that I make use of this thing that has a Y brace on the other end I'm not so sure what you call it but in Singapore, this used to so-called raise the bamboo pole that we use to hang our clothes. So it's and it's uh, retractable. So I just retract it to my required height and I put it there on the dark box. But another two piece of wood that I make from scrap wood. So this will allow the vertical rod to slot in and support the stainless steel rod now you see the complete support structure for the dark cloth so this show how the dark box look like when the dark cloth is covered over the support structure Again, depending on your requirement, you may have to make the dark cloth longer. Mine was a bit too short and of course if I were to remake it, I will make it longer so that it can cover all the way to the ground. So I also have this uh, wooden rack that I got from IKEA. It has two keyhole slots here when I have two screws here so I can just slot this in to the back panel quite easily so you can put your safe light developer or any uh, other things that you need to put up here I also have a string here in case you need to hang anything else usually a LED light or a kitchen tower row you can hang it up here here just to feel, give you a sense of uh, what are my usual layout here um, this is my 4x5 silver bath box and then I have usually 2 or 3 tray here one is usually to collect 
any collodion that may have uh, drip out when I pour the plate and also another one or two tray here one is usually the water bath tray and then maybe another one here I will use it to collect any developer that may have also fall off the plate I don't want them to, as you can see, it was the wood is actually quite badly stand so usually I have a one layer of plastic bag to protect the wood so I will have a tray to catch any developer that may have drip off the plate and I will catch it in this tray itself watching to the end of this video i hope now you have a good idea on how i constructed this duck box if you have any question on the design on how to build it please leave it in the comment section below hi guys welcome to the end of this video please like it share it and then finally do subscribe to my channel i see you at my next video take care and bye